Hey, it's Pokey Dance, baby. Welcome back to my channel. Now, look, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We can talk about entrepreneurship, personal finance, and investing. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about money mistakes that you make that will leave you broke with no money. Broke. But to be honest, I'll be real. You know, I can't really blame you because, again, this is where schools lack. You know, they don't teach you about personal finances. They don't teach you how to be an entrepreneur. They don't teach you how to be creative. They don't teach you how to think of your feet. You know, all of these little things. It's not taught in school, so I can't really blame you. You know, it's not your fault. But again, that's where I come into play. So again, if you're new here, please leave a like and subscribe. It'll help me a lot. So make sure you come with a pen and pad and an open mind, ready to learn, okay? Ah, right, cool. So the first mistake that a lot of people make, well, money mistakes, you know, even me, I made a mistake. It's simply not paying yourself first. So the mistake that you guys are making or you may be making is simply you get your paycheck and then you pay the government and then you go and pay, you know, TK Maxx and then you go and pay, you know, McDonald's and then you go pay Tesco's and then you go and pay all these sorts of institutions and businesses and then you leave the rest of the money bank account for yourself last. You pay yourself last. You invest in yourself last. You know, that's how you guys are acting and that's not the way to go about it. You see me, I'm different. I'm selfish, you know. When I get my paycheck, I pay myself first. I do what I got to do. I pay all of my bills and then I invest in myself to make me a better person at the end of the month. You know, I invest myself first and then everyone else comes second. You know, I put myself first. Look guys, before I can help anyone, I must help myself. I must put myself in a position to then help others, okay? Look, you can say it's a selfish mindset, but I can't go around, you know, paying everyone else. I can't be giving my money to everyone else first. I need to make sure I'm good first and then I can go help others. Once I'm very, very good, I can help others all day long, but I need to get myself to a level where, you know, I can do that. And I'm not at that level yet, so I'm gonna put myself first. Now, the problem with a lot of you guys is that you work nine to five. There's nothing wrong with it, but the problem with working nine to five is that your paycheck, you guys probably know this, but you don't get your full paycheck. Before the paycheck is sent to your bank account, your employer already pays your tax for you. Your employer already pays your national insurance for you. So already before you've even got your paycheck, they've already paid the government for you. The difference with me now you know, I run this, this is a business, you know, this YouTube channel, Poke Banks, is a brand, it's a business. I'm not a businessman, I'm a businessman. Shout out to Jay-Z. For me, the money I get from my YouTube, I use it to invest into myself. I use it to invest into my business, I use it to invest into other things. Then, once I've done all my expenses, then I pay my tax, corporation tax. Corporation tax is a tax on profits. So, for example, if you make a thousand pounds in revenue, but then you have costs of 800 pounds, you only pay tax on 200 pounds, okay? Those 800 pounds in costs could be anything. You could be investing that into new camera equipment. You know, I'm planning to buy a new camera, so it takes away from my profit. You know, you could have invested into a new setup, you could have hired a new professional, you could have done lots of things with that money. You see, when I get my YouTube money, I pay myself. I invest in myself. Tax man comes second. Around next year, this time, you'll be able to see my accounts on Company House for um, this, co this company, Poki Banks. And you'll probably notice there'll probably be a little bit of profit, but it won't be much. And the reason being is because I spend, 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 spend on investing myself, creating the business, you know, making it better. At this point, right now I'm using my phone to record. I still got a long way to go. I got, you know, I got big visions for this YouTube channel. So again, I'm gonna keep investing in myself. Again, guys, what you guys are doing wrong is going around paying everyone else first. You're not making sure you're good. You know, you're leaving yourself last. I and mean, at the end of the month, you have no money and then you're complaining. Now, if you do work nine to five, simply after you pay the tax man, pay yourself and then go around paying other people. But again, put yourself first, guys. The second thing that you're doing, which is bad, a money mistake that will leave you broke, and again, I've done this before, I'm, I'm no shame, is simply impressing people that you don't like and keeping up with fashion trends. You know, this is just simply expensive to do, okay? You know, fashion trends, there's new seasons every um, month or every quarter. So there's a spring season, autumn season, winter season, summer season, and there's new trends every year as well, you know? Some things are out of style, some things are in style, you know. Shoes I bought when I was in year 11, year 12, like a few years ago, that aren't in style anymore. Therefore, you can't really, it's not really cool to wear them anymore. Therefore, you're kind of trapped to then upgrade and then get something new. I mean, it's just an ever-going cycle. It's a rat race, essentially, but for designer. Now, look, I'm not saying don't buy clothes. I'm not saying, look, if you have the wage, if you have, if you have the money to do so, go ahead. Go ahead. But if you're like me and you're trying to build wealth, it makes no sense to do so. You're hustling backwards. You know, you're spending all this money on drip to drip to look nice, but where's the money going towards the assets? Assets over liabilities, guys. Like, this is basic rich and poor dad. I don't know why I have to say this. You see me, what I've done to, you know, defeat this is simply just be simple now. 
Um, from now on, you'll only see me wearing like simple tops, black tops, white tops, gray tops, just simple colors. I, I can't lie, I do like shoes. So you may see me in some nice looking shoes, but tops, jeans, you know, it'll be simple. Um, stuff that you see me wearing on now, it's all promotion stuff. I don't, I got this all stuff for free. You know, I, I've been paid, I've been paid to promote this brand. Like, you know, check out V4 anyway, I've been paid. But other than that, you know, the clothes that I'll be buying will be plain tops, plain white tees. You know, simple stuff. Shoes, yeah, I'll go a little bit, I'll splash a little bit on that because I like shoes. I like shoes, I like Jordans, you know? But for clothes, it will be simple, black, white, you know, just simple, simple. And I remember back in the day when I used to do drip, 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 you'll see on the screen right here, you know, wearing all these, you know, flashy colors, it's kind of hard picking what to wear. Like, you're picking your outfit choice. Mark Zuckerberg, he mentioned that in the morning, he doesn't like making too many decisions because he has a lot of decisions to make late in the day in the Facebook headquarters, for example. So what you'll do is you'll wear the same, not the same shirt, but you have multiple tops of the same shirt in his wardrobe. So he doesn't make too many decisions early in the morning. You know, he wakes up, it's automated. He literally picks the shirt, wears it, goes off. He, he's not picking, he's not deciding, oh, shall I wear red today? How am I match the red with the red shoes? How am I gonna, no, none of that. It's too much, it's too, it clogs up, it wastes his time. I've wasted, you know, I've missed buses because I'm wait, I'm trying to pick what to wear. It's, it's long, I don't, I don't have time anymore. And furthermore, when it comes to oppressing people, again, you are buying stuff to impress people that you don't like. <laughs> like, what, what, you, what you're doing is just breeding jealousy and envy. <laughs> Literally. I used to be like this, I can't lie. Back when I was, you know, 18, 19, 17, I used to think it was cool. I thought it was the thing to do, but until some olders spoke some sense into me, that's when I kind of realized. And again, I'm just spreading his words back onto you guys, so. Number three, the third mistake that you're making that is making you broke, is simply buying items based on price and not quality. This one, it just annoys me because I still make the same mistake till today. To this day! I still need to work on this one, but again, you know, you guys, I'm trying to tell you because I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. Just because something is cheaper does not mean you're saving money because again, where it will become more expensive is in the maintenance, okay? It may be cheaper, the face value of it, but you know, over time, over, over a few months, over a few weeks, you'll notice that you have to spend more to keep it in shape. You know, that's where you're losing your money and that's why you shouldn't just buy stuff based on price, buy stuff based on quality. Look at reviews online, buy stuff based on durability, buy stuff based on how long it'll last you, the quality of it. And you know, it's kind of a hard concept to grasp because you may be at a shop and you know, you've seen the same items but different brands and you're thinking, you know what, let me just go for the cheaper version. In some cases, it does make sense to go for the cheaper version. Don't get me wrong, like, you know, for example, um, you know, toothpicks. You know, just buy the cheapest ones there. Like, why would you want to spend so much on toothpicks? Like, it, they all do the same job. But then, in some other cases where you want to go to, like, the electrics now, the electricals, you may want to spend a little bit more just so it lasts you longer. Because just because it's cheap, you know, you buy, you get what you pay for. You know, whatever you buy, it may break down in a few weeks or a few months. So again, make sure you buy stuff based on quality, not based on price. Trust me, you save a lot more money that way. Number four, the fourth money mistake that you're making that will leave you broke, and believe me when I say this, leave you broke, is not investing. You know, if you're not investing, you're basically telling me that you will work for the rest of your life. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that's, that's essentially what you're telling me. And guys, when I say investing, I'm not talking about, you know, trading Forex or buying cryptocurrency. I, when I say investing, I'm saying anything to better yourself financially. Anything you put your money in when you're expecting a positive return to better yourself financially, mentally, physically, that is an investment. So if you buy a gym membership, you know, I see this as an investment. This is an investment into your physical shape to look bigger. If you, you know, if you put money into a pension, you're investing money into your future. You're investing money to have a sense of well-being, a sense of security in the future. If you're investing money into, you know, index funds or you know, ETFs or stocks, again, you're investing into financial security, you know, in the future. You're looking to build long-term wealth. You should be investing, guys. People say that they don't invest. Bro, you, what? Like, do you just want to work for the rest of your life? Like, anything, any time that you want to buy something, you just want to work for it. Like, every time you have to get something, like, like, imagine this. Every time you want something, you actually have to get out of your house and work for it. You want to get to a point where your investments you know, your your pension, whatever, it's there for you. You can just draw money out of it and use it to buy whatever you want. If you are 65 years old and you wanna buy something new, but you have to work extra hours, put in overtime, that is not a life. That is called breaking your back. <laughs> you stacking those shelves, like, what, what enjoyment? I don't get it. I don't get the people that see enjoyment in that. I don't see what's so fascinating about that. I feel sorry. 
and it's a shame. Number five, the fifth money mistake that you guys will make. I used to make this, but I've, I've patterned it now. I fixed it like a few years ago. It's simply not going over your fences. A lot of people are scared of the fences. I've noticed that. You know, after a night out in the club, you know, they'll just spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on drinks. They'll be scared to look at the bank account because they know they're disappointed in themselves. But they just want to check it because, you know, if you don't see it, you won't get scared. You won't be disappointed. So they just live life as they go along. And eventually the car gets declined and they're surprised like, oh, well, why, did, why is this? I thought I got paid the other day, but no. You don't you need to go with your fancies, you need to budget. Let me give you an analogy. Imagine you have a bucket of water and there's a little hole in it. A little bit of water's coming up, but it's not much that you notice. And you don't really care about it because it's not much. You still have a lot of water. Over time, more and more water gallon. And you're thinking, you know, the level of water will deplete as time goes on. This hole in the bucket is essentially the money slipping out of your account. This is you not checking over your fancies. When you check over your fences and you cover these patches, that is covering the hole where the water is coming out of the bucket. Once you cover the hole, you know, water, you know, it won't come out as much. So, you know, if you're covering it with sellotape or whatever, you know, water may still come out, but at a slower rate. As long as it's at a slower rate, that's better than nothing. You know, better than coming out, gushing out like crazy. And again, guys, I'm pretty sure there's some subscriptions that you guys have we don't even use at all, but you still pay for them every month anyway. Go over your fences, check what you don't need to pay for anymore. Check what you need to reduce on. Get less Ubers get less takeaway, check what you got to do. And guys, you may be thinking, you know, Poker, how do I do this? <laughs> Click the top right or top left, I'm not sure. I've got a video on this called How I Manage My Finances. And it goes into depth on the Excel spreadsheet on how I do this, so check that out. Now, the sixth and final mistake that you're making your money and that's leaving you broke is simply falling in love with credit products, you know? Falling in love with debt, you know? Falling in love with new 15-inch TV, you know, buy now, pay later, or, you know, get this holiday to the bag. You pay in three months installments after the holiday. It's just, it's crazy. This is absurd. This is, this is nuts. You know, getting into bad debt. You know, I see you girls on POT as well. You know, buy now, pay their karma. Get your clothes now and you're paying it in installments. Three months after you got your clothes. Like, you're paying for clothes. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy out here. And even with karma, just because you're not paying interest on it, you're now spending more than what you can really afford. You know, you're now basically putting your future self in a problem. Because essentially getting into debt is basically saying, cool, hey, future pokey, you know, you know what? I can't afford this now. So in the future, I need you to pay for it for me. You know, I can't afford it now, but I want it now. I can't afford it, but I want it now. So how about, you know, I pay a little bit now and then you pay the rest for me in the future, bro. Save, 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 save. That's essentially what you're doing with Klarna. Again, you're basically telling your future self, they got to pay for your problems, okay? But yeah, you guys know who you are. And again, it's just like, cool. Even if you're not paying interest in it, it's still a problem. What you're doing is you're making these corporations richer. I don't mind. I mean, look, if I can profit off this, why not? But I'm trying to teach you guys to be aware. Just pay for full upfront. Be able to afford it. You know, I personally believe you shouldn't finance clothes. You shouldn't finance weddings. You shouldn't finance watches. And, and you shouldn't finance holidays. You know, all of these things, I feel like you just pay for it all upfront. You know what I mean? Like, guys, there is a way to use these products wisely. Like, you know, financing. So, for example... You know, financing the house, it makes sense. You know, who has £200,000 in my account? It does make sense. But then, again, the house is what you live in. You need it. It's a necessity. Now, look, in terms of getting to debt for certain items, I personally believe you should not pay interest on, you know, clothes, watches, holidays, and weddings. You should not receive money for someone as a form of a loan just to get these items. I don't think so. I don't believe so. It's not needed. Maybe for a car or a house, yeah, okay, it makes sense. A house is a necessity, you know, it makes sense. But for these items, these are just tangible items. Look, I'm telling you now, yeah, compound interest works in both ways. You can do very, very well compound interest and it goes up. But it also goes down. And most credit card APRs, they are high, I'm telling you now. So again, don't fall in love with credit products. Just try not to get into debt. It's not, a, you know, it's not cool to be in debt. I don't know when it was cool to be in debt, but... <laughs> This, this, this generation is crazy. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something. If there's any other you know, money mistakes that you think I missed out, let me know down below. And if there's any that you liked or any that you do and you want to work on, let me know down below. I'll be replying to most comments. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. You already know. Spokey Bex, baby.